Dining etiquette. Where do you seat your guests? Who sits where to show them that they are the highest guest of honor? Gloria Starr with tips and tactics to help you be a great host. I recommend if you have an oblong table that you as the host sit at one end of the table. If you have a partner, your partner will sit at the other end of the table and this way you have basically two people hosting this dinner party. If I'm sitting at this end of the table, the person that is my highest guest of honor is going to be sitting to my right and my second highest guest of honor will be sitting to my left. If you have your second partner being there at the other end of the table, they would also have a high guest of honor at their right and their second highest guest on their left. If you are serving family style, the food will go around the table counterclockwise. Most of my dinner parties I like to have a wait staff. It's something that's very easy and affordable to do and I personally prefer to do the cooking and then have them uh, clear the plates and serve and just keep everything running smoothly with topping up water glasses etc. Conversations at the table should be light and interesting and try to be inclusive of everyone. If it's a large dinner party, your only responsibility in interacting with other guests through conversation is going to be each of the people on your right and your left, possibly the next two as well. But other than that, the table may be too long to interact effectively. So when I say light conversations, what does that mean? Well, first of all, let's talk about what you should not speak about at the dinner table. Anything about death, bereavement, finances, gossip, hospitalization, anything that is just not going to be positive and upbeat. That leaves topics such as art, theater, culture, travel, and if you are at a political dinner, then yes, politics can be discussed. If you are at an event where it's all people from your religious faith, then yes, religion can, of course, be discussed. But keep it light and lively. And if someone asks you your age or how many times you've been married or anything that you do not want to answer, just say, why do you ask? Gloria Starr, the global image, etiquette, manners, and communication expert of choice.